we are the units. So it is what we lost. I think even the great MP knows nothing. The mood of Mejibata also it the I'm up one. It's a true story. I cannot talk more about him because I know nothing about him. Both the civilian who was shot dead and the officer were under eighteen. Eita, Yunis Yarigusa Striga, Amma Mimi, Apos Katai, because they was a struggle. And therefore, we are treating this initially as a crime of passion. Not a crime of passion, it's a crime like the way where it dies. I was armed with a I had two consults. Sasa nikachua kumbe jamaa anataka kufa nini kunimaliza ndio wakati nilichukua bunduki yangu nikafaya tatu paswa Tonight on Case Files Two police officers and a member of parliament are caught up in a love affair that ends up in a highway gun drama. The man who killed the member of parliament and the woman he says he loved speaks for the first time five years after he was jailed by an Akuru court. Case Files starts now. Two police officers, one member of parliament and between them a love triangle with a tragic end. For a policeman who was supposed to enforce the law and not to break it, Andrew Moeche's story represents the lengths to which a man can go to keep a woman he loves. And when the rival is a member of parliament, the story becomes even more dramatic. Andrew Moeche Mwenga was up until December 2008, a traffic police officer attached to Eldore police station. Omwenga worked with the lady with whom he shared something else, love. Her name, Eunice Chepkwony. Marangu ya kwanza kutana na Eunice ilikuwa kiganjo. Kiganjo maisa ya kiganjo, ni tafauti sana ni maisa ngumu. Tulichuana tu kwa kuongea akawa rafikiana. Tukawa tuna associate na yeye, what and what, when we are in the root match, what and the MBA, inje tunakuwa trend tukwa na associate na yeye. Na at least tulifika maatu kare wanu takuwa marafiki. All of a sudden, to the Marisa Coast, to the West of Kusomewa, maybe the Kaputa and the Metumwa and the K, the Fifari province, the Unsia and the Nyas. Back in the 90s, mobile phones belonged to a selected few, and so communication between Eunice and Andrew was limited to posted letters and occasional phone calls from fixed lines. But that quickly changed when Eunice was posted to a far flung area. The two lost contact for a while, but fate will dictate otherwise. Baka mwaka wa 2005 What's fun Niweza kuwanda interview Kuna siki na likuja ni kaprae Ni kwe Boris Raida Ni kaito Boris Training School Nairobi Ni kanda Nairobi Ni ka train After the course Ni kawa posted in Loret Under traffic section ni kiendeza upi upi kubwa kwa sababu huko keiyo ni reserve hiyo upi upi kubwa sifanyi kazi kwa sinafanyi ni pick downs hilo kitu ilikuwa machavu ni kuamba mimi kuenda kufika Hedoret nilikuta unis kwa visi hiyo visi ni tumu hapa mbukati na fanyo ni totaxi ni kwa visi wale maofisa wale kutu ili mutu ni chua ni unis because you must make it in me by the time the two met a lot had transpired Eunice had been married and had children. Andrew was also a taken man. According to Andrew, 
the unspoken word between them was it was now impossible for them to alter their marital status but they picked up from where they had left it off anyway things however changed when the husband Eunice passed on coincidentally the husband was also a police officer the affection for each other was now an open secret fellow police officers noticed andrew had a soft spot for a woman who later kill in the most unusual way at an unusual place and in the company of a man who later claim was a stranger david kimtaito at the time a namoi member of parliament weeks of affection turned into months of intense love andrew says he could no longer keep his love affair with his fellow police officer a secret maneno ya transfer kagawa sisi na sasa tumekutana mungu ametukwa vitendenisa ni tafsiri new our friendship niliweza kukubali na ni kama na yunis kuanzia saa hiyo ulafiki yetu ile ya kikanje kafufanya nini ikafufuka sasa hapa tukaanza kuwa crosser very crosser ikafika mpaka mahali nika introduce units to my brother mvaya yako na robo nika introduce units to my sisters the news according to Andrew did not break his wife's heart Andrew was now spending most of his time with his lover units but almost after one year rumors started doing rounds about the health status of units fika wakati askari mocha Aenda arrest pipi ingine ya mwesangu ambaye alikuwa police commander. Eti amepata ame clear inform. Hapo na report ya kutosa ya kwamba police was eh. Hiyo kitu iliweza kunistua, yaani iliweza kustua pipi yangu. Pipi yangu akawa wasimu mpaka kuja kwa ofisi akaleta fucho. Nikaambia ni tuende nyumbani tuongee maneno. Wakati tulifika nyumbani tujaribu kusolve nikaona hako chuo. Na niliweza kumpiga. Akatulia, aka relax and things got worse when Eunice told Andrew about a new entrant David Kimtaito Andrew says at the time he had no idea that the man he would later kill was a member of parliament Mimi nilikuwa kasi katika Uganda Road hiyo parapara ndio mimi nafanyanga kasi ukiangalia hiyo parapara ni highway kuna mahali makali na bebea watu hapa nataka ni bebea hapo hapo nilikuwa na patrol huwa naenda naweka pikipiki yangu maana ito chomba hapo ndio naweka pikipiki wakati Yunis walikuja mpaka hapo yaani kiwa kwa parapara nikaona gari ya Yunis inapanda kutoka chini na kuja obviously mimi nimesoma kwa parapara Yunis anakuja mpaka ndio maneno ya asia akaniambia wewe mchiko unalivia mimi si shida kwa nikaambia ilikuwa niko nini sasa Yunis yako kuwasaidii na mtu mwenye ana try vigal yake ni mtu it's a new face it is not clear why the two decided to show up at Andrew Moeche's workstation but an agreement was reached between them an open field in West Indies area in Eldoret is where the trio decided to meet to iron out their differences nikaambia Yunis hakuna haja tu korofishane kwa hapa barabara eh hebu tusonge kanda kaniambia kuja twenda hapa kwa hiyo kimoja ya Yunis the love affair between Eunice and Andrew was facing its most trying moment yet. At about 10 a.m. on the 31st of December 2008, a vehicle pulled over outside this open field. Its occupants, Eunice and a man at the time only identified to Andrew as David. Andrew also pulled over with his police outrider. Kufucha waliteremuka mahali hiki wakapaka kali na hata wao ni watu walikuwa ni kama walikuwa na watu kwa nataka mtu atuone. Eh? Eh? Wao ndio walipaki gari mahali walienda wakabaki ndio wakatoka. Mimi kuangalia nyuma wamepe wameingia mahali nikapendua pikipiki. Pikipiki. So our intention was to discuss ile pita na Yunis alikuwa naye. Sasa kidi ya kwanza wakati Yunis alisuka kutoka kwa hiyo gari. Alafu baadaye mwanaume ndiye akasuka kutoka kwa hiyo gari. Ile kitu na kuambia ilifanyika ni maajabu ya Mungu. At the time the country was up in flames. The presidential elections had gone wrong and the country was engulfed in deadly chaos and Eldoret was an epicenter of the violence. Sasa hapo nikaambia Yunus Simot, unachua wewe kama ni post hata nini post? Kwa hivyo ni yako ni kuua watu unaambukiza huyu na ndio huyu na huyu na ndio sasa anaweza kuja kumtea mchinga mwingine akuje kuniua. 
The confrontation between the two was taking place just a few yards away from the motor vehicle where David Kimtaito was. David, a newly elected member of parliament, was in the driver's seat. That was when Andrew says the unlikely transpired. Sasa kuambia hiyo unaletea mchunge mchinga ingine hii chama kawa so harsh. Kitu na ndusi na anda mna gana mna gana. Yuni si aliwesa mkasirika. Akatoa kuduki. She was the first person to produce a gun. The first person to produce a gun. Sasa on the process ya kutoa hiyo kuduki na hila sila likuwa nae. Nikuwa nataka kuchi defend first. Nilirukia yeye. Kurukia yeye. Waje ni kuambia story hata saa hii. Sisi mimi naona kama ni miochisa mpaka saa hii na kuelezea story. Ni miochisa ingine kubwa sana. Eh? Kurukia yeye ile punduki iliweza kufanya nini? Kuanguka toka mkanda yake kaenda upande hii. Kwenda upande ile cha mandi alikivia kapik that gun. Kupik that gun. Ile kitu nataka ni kuweza. Mimi nikatoa punduki yangu. Yeye nilikuwa ni make up. I was armed with a sisk. Kuitoa tu hivi. I had two consoles. Sasa nikachua kumbe hicho jamaa anataka kuvaa nini? Kunimaliza. Ndio wakati nilichukua punduki yangu nikafaya to that person. Wakati nilifaya na yeye, nikape nikapaa kitu na ngangana na Yuni na Yunis. Andrew claims he does not remember seeing David Kimtai's face lamp on the steering wheel but he recalls pulling out his gun and shooting in the MP's direction at least two times. David Kimtai too had died. Eunice had been shot too but she was not dead by the time fellow police officers arrived at the scene. The news of the killing of the Aina Moi member of parliament threw Eldoret town into a panic mode. Kiricho County where the Inamoi member of parliament hailed from erupted. At the time, the only information available to the media was that a police officer, a Kisi by tribe, had shot dead a Kalenjin member of parliament. Tribe at the height of the post-election violence was such a sensitive affair. But back in the city, police headquarters had by now been told that another member of parliament had been shot dead. And therefore we are treating this initially as a crime of passion. Only two days, another ODM member of parliament, Melitas Mugabe aware of Mbakasi had been killed by a known gunman as he drove home in Woodley area. I found the best thing I went to Buri, to the Nisese, and to the police. I was like, you are a criminal and you are committed to committed an offense like this. You can't go to the police. You cannot. I found the best thing. On the process, mimi niko na pocket phone yenye natembea na Saida. On the process kati na Vika Stephen na kuta hiyo kitu ina kwa security kwa radio. Alafu hata ile mkubwa alikuwa control sema mkipata hiyo rider is spent as the arm two team. Hiyo kitu kanisikia. Nikapendua pikipiki nikaelekea njia ya Dalibo. Kwenda njia ya Dalibo what a, what it comes to my mind nikachua this communication is only for the police. It's not for the administration of police. Mimi mwenyewe nikaenda mpaka a pickup nikapata maskali. Members of the Kisi community were targeted in Kericho and Eldoret towns. The feeling was that Toe's killing was a politically motivated assassination, an extension of the post-election dispute. But that was until a background check was carried out on the two police officers, Eunice and Andrew. But Toe's party odium was outraged and termed the killing an assassination. Ni aibu kwa commissioner ya police kusema maneno ya kusingizia. Ninasema ya kwamba haiwezekani kwa mdumu wake anamaliza kesi kwa haraka sana. By this time a decision had been made by the police that Andrew Mwecho Mwenga was to stand trial for the murder of two people, his long-time lover Eunice Chepkwony and Aina Moi member of parliament, David Kimtaito. A few days later, Andrew Mwecho Mwenga was charged before in a Kuru court with two counts of murder. It was before a trial judge Justice D.K. Maraga that details of what exactly transpired at West Indies Estate in Eldoret Town started to emerge. 
the court was treating the killing as a pure case of homicide. The state lined up 23 witnesses in a trial that lasted 10 months, one of the shortest murder trials in the country at the time. A witness who appeared before Justice Maraga told the court that she had come across a smartly dressed man and a woman in a heated confrontation. The two stood outside a motor vehicle. The witness said she made for a friend's house but stopped when she heard the woman scream. She ran back and discovered Eunice was kneeling and begging Andrew not to kill her. Andrew, she claimed, slapped her several times, whipped out his gun and shot her. The witness claimed Andrew then left the woman lying on the ground and went for David Kim Tai to in the car and shot him several times. A second witness told the court he had gunshots before running towards the direction where several shots had been fired from. He stumbled upon a man lying on the steering wheel of a red motor vehicle. The man was bleeding. Just a few meters away from the car was a woman who had also been shot but was still alive. Why was Andrew gun down two people, one he had confessed his love for and the other he had claimed was a total stranger? The court was at pains to establish the motive behind the gruesome killings. A police ballistics expert, even though not at the scene of the murder, recreated the scene of the shooting for the trial judge. The expert contradicting the evidence of two key witnesses the police had relied on in charging Andrew Mwetch with murder. The gun examiner told the court Eunice had not been shot dead while in a kneeling position. She was in an upright standing position. Coincidentally, it was a wedding band on Eunice's ring finger that had a bullet hole with an upward trajectory meaning Eunice had been shot while standing. A pathologist also made the same findings. David Kim Tai, the court was told, had been shot while standing, not in the car and like what two witnesses had told the trial court that sat in Nakuru. David had been shot several times in the head, chest and his lower body. The court was told it was unlikely the MP was shot while he sat in the car. It will later emerge that the prosecution had done a shoddy job in prosecuting the case against Andrew Mueche. The two witnesses had given what had appeared as unreliable evidence in court. Andrew had told case files he was controlling traffic on Uganda Road in Eldoret Town when Eunice and David pulled over. He says he had no idea at the time that David was a member of parliament. Eunice ndiyo mina chua. Uyu terete ambaye mibuja kuchua partai eti alikuwa mbunge. Simuchui na nzimfampaka saai ni kiwa chera. But when Andrew finally had his day in court, he told the trial judge that on the material day, while on a police beat, he came across Eunice standing at the rear of her car. Eunice had worn a long face and was moody. Moments later, a man emerged from the car and started abusing him. Eunice intervened and started insulting him, accusing him of spreading word that she was HIV positive. Andrew told the trial judge that while arguing with Eunice, he turned around and noticed a gun trade on him. He held on to Eunice as a human shield before he had two gun shields. He fired back and followed up David into the car and shot him again. Andrew claims Eunice then accidentally shot herself in the confusion. The burden of proof was now squarely on the prosecution to establish that Andrew Mwech indeed had the motive, time and place to kill the two. The judge held that Andrew was a provoked man since together with Eunice had purchased the motor vehicle in which David Kim Taito was shot. After a few months on trial, the charges of murder were reduced to manslaughter. Andrew had acted in self-defense, according to the judge. It will later imagine court that David could have been armed with a gun during the ugly confrontation at West Indies Estate, where he was gunned down alongside Eunice Chepkwony. Indeed, the court would later rule that police had deliberately concealed crucial evidence that could have seen Andrew Mweche charged with a lesser crime of manslaughter in the first place. I'm so sorry. Even I quoted this before court through my lawyer. I'm so sorry for what happened. Lakini, iritendeka ni kweli. 
The big question was, am I a criminal? The presence of a third gun at the scene of the murder addressed the eyebrows of the trial judge after it emerged that the official firearms register had been tampered with. Someone at the armory had issued units with two guns, a handgun and a G3 assault rifle. The judge ruled that David Kim Tai came out of the car with a G3 rifle when he had a heated exchange between Andrew and Eunice on the material day. Andrew, according to the court, was a provoked man and was facing two armed people, a long-time lover and a new rival. Andrew had claimed Eunice accidentally shot herself or his gun accidentally went off. Iko hon. In the process, you can see what happened to you. You can see what happened to you. You can see what happened to Eunice. I think this demo is going to be the case. Now, you can see what happened to you. You can see what happened to you. But the judge ruled that it was in fact Andrew who shot and killed Eunice before turning the same gun on David. It will later emerge that Andrew killed David Kim Taito and his newly found catch, Eunice Shepkorn, without either of them firing a single shot. On the 29th of October 2009, Justice D.K. Maraga reached his verdict. Andrew Mwech had not intended to kill the duo. The man was simply provoked. The judge, however, faulted him for using excessive force. Andrew Mwech Omwenga got the maximum 10 years for manslaughter. Back in Ainamoy, the family of Eunice Shepkoni believes Andrew was deliberately out to end the life of their sole breadwinner. Eunice is laid to rest next to the grave of her husband. Coincidentally, Eunice and the slain member of parliament, David Kim Tai To, came from the same locality. When case files contacted the widow of the slain member of parliament, she declined to grant us an interview. currently being held at Kisi main prison and is due to be released in 2016. That will be nine years after he killed the woman he once loved and a member of parliament who never had a chance to prove his leadership skills as a legislator. I'm so sorry for what happened. Lakim, he returned to the The big question was, am I a criminal? I was to end the story. I was going to he now sits quietly reflecting on a love triangle that pitted a law enforcer against a lawmaker and ended in tragedy and the loss of his freedom. Mimi ubande yangu na Raum, yuni sindi ya mesa mapisa iba neno. Na hata mungu anachua. Hii kusafa na safa jera na safa because of yuni sindi. Not the rate, not the rate MP. Hata hile kifo mbunga amebeba, mina fikiri iko kwa mikono ya Yunis kama sio Yunis yule mbunge angekufa kama sio Yunis mimi singekuwa chera next week on case files who killed Pio Gama Pinto hakuna mtu alisimama akasema niliona kisili atumbua Gama Pinto hakuna hakuna wacha hivyo niliona mtu kama sura kama kisili we detail a cover up into the murder of the former member of parliament killed in the first political assassination in the country. I'm Denison Sarigo for Case Files.